okay so welcome I'm gonna do a quick little short video here so we're gonna be doing a um, this is a Kenworth t880 uh, dump truck as you see right now we've removed our air cleaner box our tube so what we're doing is we're working way back in there right now as you guys can see that plastic line right there we're removing those out because they're leaking okay that's for your uh, DPF and stuff so but we have a current situation I'll, I'll show you guys a video but we're going I mean well, I'll show you a little something but so we're replacing them with these these are what uh, Kenworth pack are and that recommend so so to start if you need to ever do this you're gonna pull that tube right there off your turbo that goes to your air cleaner you're gonna sit there you're gonna take your air cleaner out it's gonna be four bolts on that side one bolt on the top up there two bolts over here that have to be pulled out and then you have to sit there if I get in a lot of this stuff so then there's a clamp set up down in there which we can't really see because of the light but you can see it right there uh, basically just cut the zip ties on it put new zip ties all right, but you got to remove those. Then, what you need to do is there's this buddy right here. This tube right here is what they use. So you have to squeeze this together, unlock it to pull it out. Okay. So I squeezed it out, unlocked it, disconnected it. Was getting ready to, you know, okay. Now I got to take the wrench and unscrew. But unfortunately, the it decided to break. So I still have half of it inside there. So we'll show you. I'll show you here where it looks like as soon as I figure out where it went. But be back in a sec. Okay, so this is what, wherever the camera is, wherever it wants to focus. So you can see this is what's in there. And as you guys can notice, it broke off as I started loosening it up. So, these plastic piece POS's will be replaced. And I'll give you some part numbers. As soon as I don't, let me make sure I don't lose anything. So here is a part number for, this is one of the hoses. Um, yeah, let's clean it up a little bit. So it's a B38-1088. That's one hose. You only need one of them. Here is our other one. That's a V381090. And that is your other hose. This could be a smaller one. I already broke the large one, and that's the one I'm working on getting now. Oh. New ones, some you know, some thread tape on it. So eh, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll show you a little bit, you know. All right, all right, so we're gonna go take a look here, see what it, what happened. So, what happens is that these fucking these companies decide we need to save a couple dollars off, so we're gonna run plastic. So, we run this plastic garbage. Thing. Well, pay for that name, get freaking nothing. But anyways, let's go. Let's zoom in. Let's put the phone down in her. Let's see what happened. Because we just ended up. We broke the other one off. So. Oh boy. So I don't know if we see what we're looking at. Yep. Swell this down here. The spinning's broken off. We took the lines off first, and then this is what happens. You over torque plastic, you put plastic in a freaking 
cast iron, I mean, you know, cast iron setup. And we break shit. All right, well, this is probably upside down. That well, might be right side up. I don't know. So, what I did was, because he, this, this is the, uh, the second one that broke off. So, I got the second one out. What I did was, I took a tap. I took the torch. I heated the hell out of the damn thing. It melted through the thing. I let it sit and, and cool off in there. And then I removed the tap and it pulled the, the, pulled the one out. The other one is still in there, so I'm working on the other one. But if you never thought about that, you know, you got no room. There's no room to do anything in there. I mean, heat the tap, jam it on in there, good to go. Now we're going to work on the second one. Let's see if we can give a little update on what it looks like. So, drop it down the hole. Putting on this, of course. We can see what they look like right this minute. This was one. I don't, know. I don't even know what the picture is looking like right now. But, uh, I'm not exactly flipping around. Oh no, there's a flashlight went out. Interested in that one right there. All right, so if I can get back down over here, oh, this hurts. They were basically laying on top of this freaking motor, so you can see the new fittings are there. So now what has to be done is the two lines have to be extended otherwise they don't reach and so if you're gonna do this little job yourself which a lot of people won't make sure you get the hoses I mean it's uh, 5 eighths and 3 quarter line so as you saw on the uh, connections there but yeah I'm gonna button that up and then yeah, put everything back together okay so we're finishing up our video <clears throat> I put some coolant in. New lines are in there. I mean, you can't really see much. I had to extend them out. Those two back in there. So now I have to do is I got to put the filter back up. Uh, put this back on. Do my coolant, and that's it. I mean, it's not much of a video, but you know, like I said you're going to need the two parts that I gave you part numbers for. I mean, you're going to need. Uh, 5 8 hose, heater hose, and a 3 quarter heater hose, a couple clamps. You can splice them together if you want. I mean, this is just going into your DPF system, so. I mean, it's a little bit of informative. But, like, you know, if you need to do them, best, you know, if you crack it, find a tap roughly about the same size. Heat it up. Stick it in there. It'll melt the plastic. Don't go too hot with it. Just hot enough. Let it sit. When it cools down, the plastic will work itself all around it. Just unscrew it out, and that'll be it. So, now, like I said, it's just a video, not much on this one. But thanks, everybody. Like, subscribe. Okay, and your last bit, what you need to do when you do this job like this. You know, fill your coolant up. And you're going to let it run for a while. I got her on high idle right now. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for it to burp. So you're gonna lose the cool. I mean, you're gonna the cool is gonna vanish because you had that open down there. So you have some air bubbles. So try to burp it if you can. Otherwise, carry some cool with you on the road. And maybe you go through a gallon, gallon and a half. You know, depends on how much came out of the system. But thank you guys. Like and subscribe.